A sales interview can be challenging, why? Because you need to demonstrate your persuasive powers by selling yourself as the ideal candidate for the job. Welcome to HR Talk, my name is Laura. If you have an upcoming sales interview, watch this video right to the end and learn the skills you require to come top class. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Now let's dive into it. There are steps you are supposed to take to prepare yourself for the hiring process and have a successful interview for a sales position. In this video I discuss these steps in detail and it is good for you to take pen and paper so that you can take notes. Step 1. Brainstorm possible questions they'll ask. One of the best ways to prepare for an interview is to brainstorm potential questions that the interviewer may ask you. Search online for mock sales interview questions and read up on the traits that sales managers covet in a sales professional. Before the interview, ask a friend or family member to conduct a mock interview so that you can practice answering these questions aloud. Step 2. Make a list of specific examples of your success. Interview answers like, I can think on my feet, or, I have great sales skills, are common responses to questions about performance ability, but they don't highlight your worth to a potential employer. Instead of abstract answers, offer specific examples that demonstrate your success. For instance, think of a particular time at a previous job when thinking on your feet resulted in a major sale and share this anecdote with your interviewer. Telling this story concisely and humbly, can make you a more memorable, authentic candidate. Step 3. Write out questions about the job. At the end of most interviews, interviewers will ask if you have any questions about the position or company. Ask yourself if there's anything about the position that is not covered in the job description details and craft a thoughtful question that shows you did your research. This tactic will show your interviewer that you are serious about the job. If you're drawing a blank, Ask about their sales goals, the length of their average sales cycle, or their feedback process. Step 4. Dress for the role. It's a good idea for sales candidates to dress similarly to the way your potential employer's sales reps dress, as long as it looks professional. Your outfit can make a big impression on your interviewer, and arriving in professional attire also allows your interviewer to picture you in the role. If the dress code is casual at the sales job, dressing one rank higher in terms of formality is usually a safe bet. Step 5. Arrive early and demonstrate confidence. It's always a good idea to arrive at least 15 minutes early for your interview because it signals to the employer that you are eager and gives you time to mentally prepare beforehand. Bring a notepad with your prepared questions and use the time before the interview to brainstorm any other queries you may have for your interviewer, rather than sitting in a lobby chair staring at your phone. Sit upright and confidently, or stand with your legs slightly apart or your hands on your hips, with your chest outward. These power poses can be the confidence boost you need before going in and snagging the job. Now let's get practical and watch a mock sales position interview. Welcome Victor. My name is Dave. I am going to be interviewing you for the position of salesperson. Thank you sir. I am delighted to be here and I hope to satisfy the position's requirements. Very well, let's dive into it. Now how would you describe yourself in a few words? I'm from Tampa, Florida but I grew up in Denver, Colorado. I received my bachelor's degree from the University of Washington, where I majored in business management. It was there that I discovered my passion for sales and have since sought to find a company with a great company culture that really cares about its employees. That is why I'm so excited about this position with FMJ Technology. Thoughts all good. Now tell me what do you think motivates you to do well? I'm motivated by my desire to meet and surpass goals, and I hope to learn continuously and improve within my field. Established deadlines motivate me and allow me to track each benchmark along the way. I get excited by seeing projects come together according to plan. Excellent. Now tell me about the time you failed to meet your quota. What did you learn? In my first month as a sales representative with a wine and beverage distributor, I knew a bit about wine, but I wasn't as educated on the topic as my clients, and it made me too timid or embarrassed of my lack of knowledge to reach out to them as persistently as I could have. I failed to meet my quota that month because of my fears, and I was really disappointed in myself. I enrolled in wine education classes through a local winery and began reading books on the subject to increase my knowledge and build my confidence. By the end of the following month, 
I used my new knowledge and confidence to exceed my quota by $5,000. I learned that I'm willing to put in the extra work necessary to achieve my goals. I see but what do you enjoy most about working in sales? My favorite part about working in sales is building relationships with clients and the satisfaction of seeing the results of my efforts. I believe that positive client relationships are essential to consistently meet sales goals and that the results of hard work are often worth the effort. I know how much this company values their clients and the dedication of their employees. I think my love of client relations and result-driven attitude make me a great fit for this role. Okay. Now what is the best way to build trust with prospects? First, I begin with active listening. In my experience, prospects most often want to feel heard by their sales representative, so I do my best to listen carefully to all of their wants and needs. To convey my understanding of their situation, I often paraphrase the information they've given to me and ask clarifying questions when needed. Second, I try to be as honest as possible about our abilities to fulfill their requests. I believe that being honest and communicating openly with prospects is the most effective way to foster trust. If there is a delay in our delivery, an issue with their order or an aspect of their request we simply cannot accommodate, I try my best to be as truthful as possible about the reasons for those setbacks. Prospects often appreciate honesty and integrity and are more willing to trust our company if they know I am doing all I can to ensure their satisfaction. What steps would you take to be successful in this role? First. I would do all I can to research our current client base to gain an advanced understanding of their needs and preferences. Next, I would do all necessary research about our company, our services and current sales practices. If needed, I would use my time outside of work to complete these studies and ensure I've learned all I can from training materials. I would also do my best to form positive relationships with my coworkers to learn from their expertise and seek support when needed. Finally. I would ask thoughtful questions and apply feedback to my work to actively seek means of improvement. How do you handle difficult requests from a client? When faced with a difficult request, I try my best to find satisfying alternatives before presenting these ideas to my client. I find coming prepared with solutions to a problem often helps to defuse tense situations. I try my best to remain calm and maintain a friendly demeanor, even if the conversation is a bit unpleasant. I think that with enough active listening, negotiation and honesty, I'm able to resolve most challenging requests in a way that is mutually beneficial to both parties involved. Do you have any questions? I am really excited to begin working in this job and hope that you might extend an offer to me during the next steps of the recruiting process. When can I expect to hear from you about this position? We have a couple of interviews to conduct and we EXPCT to come back to you next week. Thank you sir. Well. That brings our interview to an end. Wish you the best.